Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is uh, AJ Propaganda 24. I'm coming at you to uh, how to make snares. Um, in this case, I mean, I'm a guitar player, and every time my strings blow on my guitar, it gives me a new snare. Uh, I was looking at a bunch of videos online, and it's pretty funny how people scream and argue over which is right and which isn't, and how your snare doesn't lock into position. Um, locking snares are great. It ensures that the animal doesn't get away, but at the same time isn't necessary depending on what you want to get. If you want to get small game, like you want to set uh, like a ramp trap for a ramp snare for squirrels, or you want to set just trail snares for things like rabbits, simple stuff, you don't need all that craziness. It's just a straight up loop snare here. Loop snare there. They get in it. Tightens down on them. They struggle. They try to run away. They suffocate. Rabbits are stupid. They feel the snare and they run. They're not like a smarter animal which would relax and try to figure out what's going on. It just runs for its life. It runs for its life even though it's being strangled to death. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make these things today. What you want to do, depending on how long or big you want your snare to be, you take one edge of your wire, which I have here right now, and you're going to bend it over and you're going to make a loop. Now, guitar string is flexible. If this is what you're using, I recommend going to the store and buying a spool of wire. It's cheaper, it's more effective, but I mean, this is free, so this is what I use. Um, you make a little loop like this. For anybody using guitar string who put this idea in your head, remember to trust a pair of pliers because you're going to need them for this stuff. Alright, so you make a little loop, right? See how flexible it is? It wants to bounce back. You're going to crimp the middle with the pliers, like so. And you're going to take the loop, and you're going to twist it. Tight. Four or five wraps, maybe six wraps, depending on how small the loop, uh, the loop is, how small you want the loop. It doesn't need to go crazy. See that? Guitar string actually works great. You see that? Look how clean that is. Look how nice that is. Another one. All right, so I got some twists up on that thing. Makes a nice little tight tie down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this this extra here, bring in my pliers. I'm just going to get rid of that because we don't need that. <clears throat> Straighten the loop back out. Professional. Look at that. All right, now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to take your other end of your wire and you're going to put it through the first initial loop. All right, you see where this concept's going? There you go. See like that. You make a loop like there. And then you're going to come to the other end, the other end of the wire that's bare. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to bend it, hold it in place, crimp it with your pliers, like I just did. Okay, then you're going to grab the end, start twisting. Get a couple loops on here. I generally make um, um, the leading end, the end you're going to tie something to, and tie something to whatever you prefer so the animal doesn't get away. I generally make that a smaller loop because it doesn't need to be big. So check that out. Look at that. Bam. And trust me, these are little fellers, man. You're going to walk right in these things if, if placed properly. If you want to use bait, you can use bait. Um, I do raccoon trap and I just make cubby holes and stuff and put a little bit of bait in there and they love it. For raccoons, generally, if, or uh, rabbits, sorry, generally if you can find the trail that they travel every day, they're pretty stupid. Rabbits aren't uh, like other animals, they don't like to roam. They find an area that provides them with whatever they need and they stay to it. Alright, so here you go. You got a basic snare right here. Alright, so you're going to put it right at the base of their hole or in your trail. And they're going to come along, they're going to be walking, they're going to stick their head through, they're going to freak out, they're going to go run away. Uh, tight down, they're going to strangle to death. And yes, like I said, this isn't a locking snare. Um, <clears throat> if it decides to relax for some reason, um, it's going to get away. Now, what I recommend doing, which I don't always do, I only do sometimes. On a couple of the heavier snares with the heavier wire, and as it, it has the uh, tendency to want to slide back up the wire to the other loop, 
being that it's flexible. So what you can do is you can slide it down into place, right? You can take some some old piece of guitar string and just cut a little bit off, like this big, right? Whatever length you want this wire, you're going to set it, right? Now you're going to hold it with your fingers, and right above the joint where the loop connects to the wire, you're going to put a little piece of wire, wrap it around so it can't go up past the loop, and that'll be set because it won't affect uh, the closing of the of the trap or anything. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and make four or five more of these. You guys really don't need to watch this. Um, you pretty much got the basics down. Just just remember, you make the loop, crimp it, twist it. Put the wire through the loop, come up to the other end, make a loop, crimp it, twist it. Pretty simple. And like I said, if you don't want it to slide up and down, you can set the, the size and then put a little piece of wire there, keep it from sliding. Makes life easier. So uh, this is AJ Propaganda 24 coming at you from uh, what I call my trap in Central. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you uh, rate five stars and subscribe. Well, five stars, whatever you want to rate. If you think this video sucks, go ahead. Tell me it sucks. It doesn't make a difference to me. Take it easy.